Part 7 of renovating a vintage twin tangy type model steam engine. Here I'm painting some more of the parts. This is the water pump. You will notice I'm painting this water pump before I clean up the brass parts of the water pump. That's a good way of doing it really because when I do take off the brass parts any paint that's stuck to them will be removed in the polishing process. In this shot the water pump is mounted to the main bed casting and I'm giving the bed casting yet another coat of paint. I really do want to get a good finish on this engine, as it's very well made. When I'm painting, I always start at the bottom of the casting, as you can see here, and work my way upwards. I feel this is a better direction to work in, because if you work from the top downwards, you will automatically push the paint down to the bottom. So when you leave it all to dry, you may find there's a pool of paint around the base of the casting. Taking a good long look at this engine, as I've said many times, it's very well made, apart from that one cylinder cover. But, it's not really a working engine, it's very much a display engine. None of the parts are robust. The crosshead, for instance, is just clamped to a soft piston rod with just one bolt. This doesn't mean the engine's not going to run, it's going to run very well indeed by the time I've finished with it. But I do feel that it's really not worth all the hours that would have to be put into grinding off the bolts on the cladding, re-drilling, re-tapping, and I would of course have to do both sides to make them match, just in order to basically re-bodge and refit a couple of bolts in place of the studs. So as soon as the engine is reassembled, I will be painting the cladding. That way there's less chance of the cladding getting damaged in the refit. To carry on, here are the two main bearing top caps with the nice little oilers, painted and ready to fit back to the engine. I am actually doing a sympathetic restoration relative to the age of the engine. So I'm just using some metal polish, this is brass or wadding, and a bit of elbow grease to make the parts shine a little bit and remove any tarnish. Looking at the base, as you can see I'm using Ron Seal Hard Glaze, which is my preferred method for bases of steam engines, as it gives a tough, waterproof finish. This is not just a static model steam engine, it's actually going to be run on compressed air very frequently, so there will be oil splashing about everywhere. That's the reason for resealing the base. I removed all the damaged French polish from the base, and it's a very nice mahogany base is this, very well made. This is my preferred method of finishing steam engine bases. I just dip a piece of lint-free cloth into the Ron Seal and rub it into the wood. Doing it like this takes a little bit of practice. You need to get the coats very even. If you constantly overcoat, the coat will get thicker and it can look okay. If it's very warm, the Ron Seal will need thinning with some white spirit. But it's not that warm today and it's going onto this board okay. It's most important to make sure there are no drips on the edges. So now I'm going around the edges and you can see a drip there, which I'm just getting rid of. There it goes. You don't need to dip the cloth too deep into the Ron Seal, just get a little bit on the tip of the cloth. And a major drip. There we go, that's gone too. So now when this is dried, it will look the part. I'm giving it a final wipe over the top to make sure that there are no brush marks. Well, there's no brush, so there won't be brush marks, but just to make sure it's an even coat. So I think it's time to go and have a cup of tea. It's best when you've done some painting, to go somewhere else so that you don't kick up any dust from the workshop onto the new paint. And as you can see, there's plenty of paint drying here. Before I left the workshop in the outer part, I decided I would quickly repair this. This is the steam inlet manifold. Just a quick soft soldering job. And finally, painted black, here are the twin mounting plinths, ready to go onto the base. But that's in the next episode. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.